We are just about set for the championship game of the Key Bank Original Four. Playing the Lake Placid Blue Bombers and the Plattsburgh High School Hornets. Good evening once again. I'm Rick Knowles, joined on the camera tonight by Calvin T. Castine from Hometown Cable. As we're ready to bring you the championship game, two teams that uh, dominated their opponents in the opening round. Lake Placid beating Northeastern 14-2. The Hornets beating... Beekman Town, 16 to nothing. Let's get the Hornets starting lineup. The goaltender will be 29. Brian Despris, the junior. Starting defenseman, Eric Pomeroy, a junior. As well as senior defenseman number eight, Jan Sherman. Starting forward line for Plattsburgh High School will be Jamie Lattenville, the senior center. Lattenville returning to number three after having to wear number 11 in the opener. Hornets. Wearing their new uniforms for the first time. Matt Luckin, the junior forward, as well as sophomore Jason Wild rounding out the top line. The officials for tonight's game, Bob Zuckerman and Brian Bouye. And before we start the contest, let's enjoy the anthem. go with the championship game of the Key Bank Original Four. Captains of both teams meeting with the officials down below us. The stars that, uh, have shown for these two teams in the tournament, looking back at the score sheet from that Lake Placid game, Fran Davey picked up uh, a hat trick. J.D. Levitt picked up a hat trick, as well as uh, Mike Beanie with a couple of goals. The top line you're going to have to watch out for from Lake Placid Casey Gadwa, J.D. Levitt, and Mike Beeney. In the first game, we saw Mike Beeney wore number two. Tonight, he has gone back to his regular number of number 19. For Plattsburgh High School, star of the game last time was Matt Luckin. Ten points in the game, as well as uh, a great outstanding offensive performance from Jamie Lattenville. John Coyer is off to our right, covering the game for the Press Republican. There you see John. Nice to have John in the booth with us. Maybe we can get a comment or two out of John, although that is not very likely, is it, John? <laughs> Lake Placid in the blue and yellow. The Hornets, orange, black, and white. Modeling the Providence Bruins with the brand new unis that they break out for tonight's contest. Brian Desperis, the goaltender to our left. Tony Rodriguez, the goaltender to our left. Lattenville takes the draw against Gadwa. Gadwa muscles his way, picks up the puck on the near side, drops it back. Luckin keeps it in. Hornets with a chance. Luckin had the stick lifted nicely by J.D. Levitt. Sprawling in front was uh, Kilburn to stop a Hornet scoring opportunity, and the Bombers come out with it. Casey Gadwa at center takes the shot. That's deflected. And it's called on the offside. Just underway. 14 minutes, 38 seconds remaining in the first period. We are scoreless in the championship game. The Key Bank Original Four. Something that uh, the Plattsburgh High School CSO wants to keep going. 
until the 20th anniversary of the CVAC in 1995. Off the faceoff, puck comes into the Hornet zone, Pomeroy on it, looks to clear. Puck sent in behind the net. Jason Wild picks it up for Plattsburgh. Wild finds Latinville, stolen away by Gadwa. At the point, Kilburn sends one in wide behind Despres. They try to pick it up behind the net. Puck comes loose, and Jan Sherman is on it. Sherman plays one off the glass, bounces back in front. They get on it quickly, and now Matt Luckin will pick it up. Dangerous move by Luckin, crossing in front of the goaltender. Now brings it across the blue line. Hornets will make a line change as Luckin is content to dump it in. Ethan Plank for Lake Placid. Gives it away to Colburn. Chad Colburn. Casey open in front. They can't get it to him as Kilburn's there to break it up for the Bombers. Now at center. It's dumped in by Beanie. The Bombers make a line change. Now Josh Dukat. Gets it up for Colburn. Chad Colburn. Now to Casey Colburn. Casey puts one move on at center. Brings it across the blue line. Gets around another man. Dishes off. Fire shot. Save. Rebound. Another save by Tony Rodriguez. 13-32 remaining in the first. We're scoreless. Face off at the left of Rodriguez. Comes to the far point. Duquette takes the shot to flex in. Rodriguez with a stick save. Chad Colburn in the corner. He got his first career goal against Bickmantown in the first game of this tournament. Penalty coming up. Holding will be the call. It'll go against Matt Shaler. And the Plattsburgh Hornets will get the first power play opportunity of the hockey game. As Shaler goes to the box. Gadwa and Latinville on the faceoff. Matchup of the two top lines. Plattsburgh with Luckin, Latinville, and Wild in the power play with Pomeroy and Sherman at the point. Luckin controls at the faceoff circle. Gets it back to Pomeroy. Pomeroy waits. Back to Luckin, moves in, dishes off, and it's broken up by Seth Kilburn. Bombers clear it out to center. Pomeroy with it for, Pl for Plattsburgh. Eric waits. Now uh, he's bothering the play by Beanie. And Luckin will pick it up for the Hornets. 55 seconds of the Plattsburgh power play. Luckin drops it back. Pomeroy's got it at the point. They get it back to Luckin. Locking at the top of the face-off circle. Dishes off Latinville. They get it back to Locking. Shot saved by Rodriguez. Here comes Beanie. He's got Gadwall with him. Beanie shot. Blocked by Pomeroy. Beanie will dump it in behind the net, and Latinville will get it to the Hornets. 30 seconds of the Plattsburgh power play. Latinville lost it. Gets it back. Dumps it into the bomber zone. Look out. Gadwall couldn't clear it. Now the Bombers content to dump it in with 20 seconds remaining in the power play for the Hornets. Despers leaves it for Eric Pomeroy. Pomeroy will let Latinville bring it up ice, who quickly dishes off to Jason Wild. Wild across the blue line, five seconds on the power play. Wild waits. Luckin moves in to help out. They tie it up. Puck still loose. Luckin comes out with it. Backhander deflected wide by Kilbert. They battle for it. Falling to the ice is Casey Colburn. Bombers ice it. And we get a whistle. 11.37 remaining in the first period. Championship game of the Key Bank Original Four. No score. Face off to the left of Rodriguez. Scheller takes the draw against Colburn. Colburn wins it. Back to Duquette. Shot glove save by Rodriguez. And Tony covers up. We get the whistle. Face off again will be coming to his right. 11 minutes, 33 seconds remaining, scoreless first period. From the Stafford Ice Arena in Plattsburgh. A little warmer tonight than it was for the opening round of this tournament. Again, Hornets get the draw back to Duquette. He plays it in behind the net. Matt Myers looks to pick it up. Jumped over his stick, and the Bombers will get to it. Joe McClain. This lane of McClain, Scheller, and Davey also uh, played well for Lake Placid against the Cougars. Myers fights for it, brings it out in front, controls. And Rodriguez slides out to get away. Duquette shot saved by Rodriguez. So some anxious moments in front of Tony Rodriguez as the Hornets have been peppering him in the early going. Brian Despers lonesome down at the other end thus far. But Rodriguez has come up big and kept Plattsburgh off the scoreboard. We've got some goal judges here tonight. Although I don't know if they're 
all that official or not. Looks like a broken goalie stick as well. Face off to the left of Rodriguez. Kevin Primor takes the draw against Jeff Strack. It's the battle of the third lines for both clubs tonight. Back to the point. Sherman couldn't handle the bouncing puck. They'll have to bring it outside. Eric Pomeroy has it. Pomeroy to center. Sam Julian with it. Julian moves across the blue line. Tries to move around the defender, Kilburn, but couldn't do it. Hornets dump it back in. Kilburn picks it up. Plays it into the corner. Julian will get to it first for Plattsburgh. Sam Julian stood up on the play by Kilburn. Still got it in front. Now it'll be taken by Lucas Plank. Plank dumps it off the boards. Pomeroy picks it up for the Hornets. Pomeroy bothered by Jake Nason. This is the small line for Lake Placid, but they were effective against the Cougars. Puck is underneath Aaron Dubuque. Kicked now out to center by Primor. Seth Kilburn picks it up at his own blue line. Tries to send it into the Hornets zone, but Julian is there. Julian dishes off to Primor. Backhander back to Julian, and he could not get a stick on it. Bombers come back with it. Jeff Strack over in the middle. Jake Nason, he stood up on the play. Puck comes outside the zone. Kilburn will have to regroup for the Bombers. 9.55 remaining, first period. Kilburn with a blast. It's away wide. Hornets making changes, as do the Bombers. Puck dumped into the corner. Pomeroy has it for Plattsburgh. Now Matt Luckin, three on two. Luckin moves in, dishes it back to Lattenville. Far side, Wild can't control it. Jason Wild stood up in the play by Matt Scheller. They fight for it. Lattenville comes in to help out. Matt Luckin in front. Backhander is wide. Near side, Luckin fights for the rebound along with Levitt. Luckin gets to it. Plastic skater falls down. Luckin still fights for it. Centers one in front. Casey Gadwa is there to clear. Now at center, look out. Here comes Beanie. Has Gadwa on his left. Beanie moves in. Bothered by Lattenville. And Lattenville is going to go to the box. He was holding Beanie and Lake Placid will have their first chance on the power play. Nine minutes, ten seconds remaining in the first. We're still scoreless. Face off. Taken by Pomeroy, the Hornets. Bombers control it. Throw it in front. Puck kept in by Kilburn. Sherman clears it to center. Now Ethan Plank. He dumps it in. And icing will be called against the Blue Bombers. Hornets defensively try to counter this Lake Placid power play with Sherman, Pomeroy, Josh, or Kevin Primor, rather, and Sam Julian. One minute, 16 seconds remaining in the advantage. Now they're going to send out Matt Myers and Casey Colburn to take the place of Julian and Primor. Faceoff comes up to the left of Rodriguez. Casey will take the draw. A battle of Casey's as Casey Gadwa takes it for Lake Placid. J.D. Levitt gets it. Now to Gadwa. They bring it across center ice. Gadwa moves in. He's knocked off the puck nicely by Jan Sherman. Now Matt Myers. Looks to clear. Kept in by Kilburn. And Pomeroy will pick it up for the Hornets. 60 seconds in the Lake Placid power play. Pomeroy gets it to center and Myers has got a break. Myers moves in. Takes the shot and a great save by Rodriguez. J.D. Levitt for the Bombers. Near side. Gets Gadwa at center. Across the blue line. Shot blocked by Pomeroy. Now in front. Myers there. Levitt. Shot. Desperate. Two saves. Puck comes back to Levitt. He couldn't control it. Hornets desperately trying to get it out of their own zone. 25 seconds of the power play. Gadwa in the corner. Looks to center. There's Levitt. He scores! Levitt left all alone in front of Brian Desperate. And at 6.58, the Blue Bombers on the power play get the one nothing lead. Levitt will get the goal. Gadwa will pick up an assist. We'll check to see if they give out one more. But the Hornets will have to come from behind. As they trail one nothing. The power play, and that's really the first pressure they've had of the hockey game. Now Shaler plays it to the near side. Luckin gets to it first. Now Wild has it behind the net. Luckin goes to the front. They center it. And the puck is cleared. Bombers get it up to center. Corey Mitchell has it taken away from him, but Luckin gets to it. 
Luckin gets around one man, still controls, backhands one in the middle, Latinville gets a swipe at it, and Rodriguez with a stick to make the save. Latinville kept it in, but now it's taken out by Joe McClay. Hornets play it out to center. Kyle Ballarjean gets it back up for McClain, who dumps it into the Hornets zone. 7.15 remaining first period, 1-0 Lake Placid. Bombers dump it in. They will clear the zone. Hornets look to bring it out. Josh Duque looks to clear. Latinville has it. Gets it to Luckin. Some open ice for Luckin. He's got Colburn on his left. Luckin takes the shot, goes weakly into Rodriguez, and Rodriguez will cover up and will get a whistle. Six minutes, 58 seconds remaining in the first period, and the Bombers lead the Hornets one to nothing. Faceoff will come up to the right of Rodriguez. Gadwa takes the draw against Casey Colbert. Bombers get it. Kilburn has it. Looks to bring it out. Plays it to center. Pomeroy gets it for Plattsburgh. Now Eric will dump it in. Rodriguez leaves it. Myers almost got to it. But now Ethan Plank plays it for Levitt. Far side. It was too far for Beanie. Beanie and Colburn fight for it. Now Levitt spins around and dumps it into the Hornet zone. Gadwa's going to get to it first. Gadwa plays it in behind the net. Beanie couldn't control it. Sherman kicks it ahead for Colbert. Chad Colbert gave it up. Levitt plays it back into the corner. Chad Colbert gets back to it. 6.15 remaining first period. Now Myers at the blue line. Myers and Colbert move up. Pass was broken up by Seth Kilburn. Taken back in his own zone by Mike Beanie. Played to center. Ducat coming out of the ice. Sherman spun around and tried to find Chad Colbert. Bombers come in. They're offside. They'll have to clear the zone. They do. Hornets get it out. Myers dumps it in. Plattsburgh will make a line change. Rodriguez with the easy save and leaves it for Plank. Plank for Levitt. Now here comes Scheller. Near side. Joe McLean across the blue line. McLean controls. Looks to get the shot off. Now still has it. Plattily coming up on Plattsburgh. That shot in. Desperate makes the save. Adam Sherman will get to it. But we're going to have an interference penalty. It'll be the second penalty of the game against Plattsburgh. And the second power play opportunity for Lake Placid. Face off to the right of Despres. Off the draw, they score! The same combination worked in the exact same play against Northeastern. Shaler won the face off, got it directly over to Fran Davey. And the second power play goal gives Lake Placid a 2-0 lead, 9 minutes and 26 seconds into the period. Power play goal for the Bombers makes it 2-0. Bombers play it out to center. Scheller is stood up by Sherman. Now Chad Colbert with Myers. Colbert moves in, takes it to the corner. Looks to center. Myers tied up. Colbert still has a shot. Score! Chad Colbert with a great individual effort. Taking it in. Zooming in behind the net. Coming out in front of Rodriguez. And Colbert gets his second goal as a Hornet. It comes in back-to-back -back games. And it's a 2-1 to -one game. This one comes at 9.41. So just 15 seconds after the Bombers go up by two. The Hornets answer with one of their own. We'll wait and see if there'll be any assists on the play. Here comes Plattsburgh. Colburn knocked off the puck. Casey Colburn gets the assist. Puck in the Hornet zone. Behind the net. Shaler with it. Tries to find Davey. Davey picks it up. Centers one. Backhander. And it's wide from Kilburn. Desperate tried to poke it away with a stick, but Sherman will take it for the Hornets. 4.50 remaining first period. 2-1 to one, Lake Placid. Hope you stay with us. This early goings has looked like an excellent hockey game. Kilburn looks to rush in. It's played out to center. Ethan Plank for Lake Placid sends it in. They're offside. They'll rule it intentional. And they'll bring the face off deep into Lake Placid territory with 4.34 remaining in the opening period and the Bombers up by one.
Summers control the faceoff. Gadwa brings it up and they're offside. Gadwa goes sliding into the boards. And the faceoff will be just outside the Plattsburgh blue line. Bombers look to dump it in. Puck bounces back to Matt Shaler. Up to center. Beanie ridden into the boards. Lattenville has it. Plays it for Jason Wild. Wild brings it across the blue line, and Luckin is in one step too soon. And again, an offside call. 4-14 remaining in this first period. 2-1 the score. We want to say a special hello to all hospital patients and shut-ins. Those of you that can't get out to the local sporting events but still enjoy our coverage through cable television. Puck bounces into the Lake Placid zone. Lattenville kicks at it. Puck comes free, and it's Levitt playing it down ice. And the Bombers will be called for the icing. Play slowing down a bit in the last couple of minutes. We've got 4.02 to go in the first, and Lake Placid with a 2-1 lead. John Coyer in deep thought, covering this game for the Press Republican. Luckin with a blast off the faceoff that goes wide. Now at the point, Sherman tried to find Luckin with it. It was broken up by Levitt. Back to the point. Luckin sends one in front. Now here comes Casey Gadwa, three on two. Gadwa, Beanie on the right, Levitt on the left. Couldn't control it as Despers comes out with a stick to poke it away. Played up to center. Beanie could not get the puck. Oh, Sherman plays it to center. Now Matt Shaler dumps it in. Adam Sherman for Plattsburgh. Tried to find Lattenville, but Hornets make a line change. Now Scheller dumps it in. Despers will come out of the net. Couldn't stop it. Now Duquette picks it up in the near corner. Josh Duquette to Dubuque. Now to Premore. He lost it. Here comes Joe McLean. Now to Scheller. Scheller is knocked down at the point. Ethan Plank. Shot. Despers makes the save. Premore tried to find Sam Julian. Premore gets it back. Steps in across the blue line. Premore ridden into the boards by Seth Kilbert. They fight for the puck. It's still free. Now it will be kicked loose. Puck bounces in the air. Scheller chases after. Two on one. McLean wide open on the near side. Scheller takes the shot. Desperus makes the save. Puck bounces into the air. Now Scheller shot. Saved by Desperus and he covers up. Two minutes, 19 seconds remaining in the first period. It's Lake Placid 2 and the Hornets 1. Pair of 16s face it off to Desperus's right. Hornets get it out. That's center ice. Shaler. Colburn has to wait for his brother to clear the zone before he dumps it in. Kyle Ballarjean picks it up, plays it off the boards, out to center. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Corey Mitchell for the Hornets. Circles behind his own net. Plays it off the glass. Up for Chad Colburn. Colburn finds Casey. Casey Colburn brings it across the blue line. Has Myers. Gets it to Myers. Moves in. Scores! Matt Myers with another goal. And the Hornets tie it up. 2-2. Two 13-15 to two. will be the time. Myers, his first of the game. Casey Colburn and Chad Colburn will get assists. It's Casey's second assist. And we are knotted at two. Hornet goals both coming at full strength. The Bombers both on the power play. Puck dumped into the Bomber zone. Colbert sends it in behind the net. Ethan Plank lost it to Chad Colbert. Now they tie it up. Gadwa there to help out. Myers moves in for the Hornets. Centers one went off the skate of Colbert. Now J.D. Levitt brings it across the blue line. Tries to move around Sherman. Couldn't do it. Sends it in behind the net. Gadwa picks it up. 1-10 remaining in the period. Gadwa to the point. Plank 
to Gadwa. That shot in off Colburn, blocked and played down ice by Myers. Hornets will be called for icing. 61 seconds remaining in the opening period, and we're tied at two. Off the draw, the puck comes on a bounce out to center as we're now under a minute. Adam Sherman plays it to center. Lattenville gets it, moves in, dishes off, and Wild didn't see it coming. 40 seconds in the period. Beanie plays it to Gadwa. Luckin will pick it up in the Plattsburgh zone. 30 seconds to go. Luckin cuts in front of the net, starts up ice. Luckin, bothered by Beanie, brings it across the blue line, gets it to Wild Shot, saved by Rodriguez. Now Luckett keeps it in. Shot. Blocked. Puck comes loose. Gadwall looks to clear. Now it's played out to center. Ten seconds remaining. Puck bounces free. Luckett gets to it. Plays it over to the far side off the stick of Latinville. Bombers play it back in. That is going to do it for the first period. Probably the most entertaining period of hockey we've seen in the entire tournament. Lake Placid breaks out on top at 6.58 as J.D. Levitt scores from Casey Gadwa. It was a power play goal. Lake Placid made it 2-0 also on the power play. Great play by Wayne Scheller. Winning the faceoff and a quick one-timer from Fran Davey made it 2-0 Lake Placid. Plattsburgh High School came back at 9:41 as Chad Colburn scored from Casey Colburn and the Hornets tie the game with a minute 35 seconds remaining as Matt Myers gets a goal from Casey Colburn and Chad Colburn. The shots on goal in that first period, PHS 11, Lake Placid 6. 15 minutes are in the books from the Stafford Ice Arena in Plattsburgh. Lake Placid and the Hornets are tied at 2. Ready to go with the second period of the Key Bank Original Four championship game from the Stafford Ice Arena in Plattsburgh. Bombers of Lake Placid 2 and the Hornets of Plattsburgh 2. Lake Placid's two goals coming on the power play. Hornets 0 for 1 on the power play. Bombers control it in the Plattsburgh zone in behind the net. J.D. Levitt. Levitt centers it. Gadwa shot. Despros makes the save. Hornets play it out to center. Two on one. Luckin. Latinville on his right. Luckin takes it to the net. Shot it high and wide. Puck bounces out in front and Gadwa clears. Now to the point. Sherman. Shot was blocked. Here comes two on two for the Bombers. And Beanie content to dump it into the corner. Levitt chases after it. Gadwa gets to it. He fights for it with Jan Sherman. They center it. Nobody got a stick on it. Goes back to Ethan Plank. Now in the corner. They bring it in behind the net. Adam Sherman plays it up for Luckin. Matt Luckin ridden into the boards. Wayne Scheller to the near side for Seth Kilburn. Corey Mitchell with a nice job to take it away from Beanie. Here comes Chad Colburn. Chad Colburn's shot was deflected wide. Now behind the net, they try to wrap it around loose in front. Casey Colburn shot blocked. Nicely by defenseman Seth Kilburn. Chad Colburn ridden into the boards. The Bombers come out with it. Seth Kilburn, three on two, broken up by Ducat. Scheller dumps it in. Right under the stick of Ducat. Ducat plays to the near side. It was behind Chad Colburn. 13-10, second period, 2-2 tie. Casey Colburn with Myers. Tries to split defenders. He stood up on the play. Chad Colburn, shot, kick save by Rodriguez. Played out to center. Fran Davey could not control it. The Hornets play it back out. Kilburn dumps it in, and Lake Placid will be called for icing. John Coyer has left us in this press box, but he can run, but he cannot hide. There he is on the far side with Beekman Town coach Bill Bayshard. There's Coyer. Smiling John. There he is. Must be telling jokes. He's got Bill Bayshard laughing. Face off. 
We'll be coming up to the right of Tony Rodriguez. Kevin Primor takes the draw for Plattsburgh against Jeff Strack. Matchup of the third lines for both clubs on the ice. Primor battles for it, but Lake Placid looks to come out with it. Near side, Jake Nason plays it to center. Jan Sherman dumps it in. Behind the net, Bombers bring it out. Lucas Plank kept in nicely by Adam Sherman. In the corner, Dubuque looks to center. It was behind Sam Julian. Jan Sherman comes in, and the, pow the puck will bounce into the Hornet bench. We got a break. 12-22 remaining in the second. 2-2 the score. Bombers control the faceoff. They look to play it out. Kept in by Sherman. In front of the net, it's cleared by Ballerjean. Puck sits on the blue line. Primor keeps it in. Oh, they call offside. Puck clearly sitting on the blue line. And for some reason, offside was called. They admit the mistake, and they'll face it off at center ice. Hornets bring it in. That one looked like it might have been offside. Wasn't called. Now Dubuque falls down. Julian couldn't control it. Tried to pickpocket it away from uh, Nason. Now Sherman played it behind Julian. Bombers get to it. They dump it into the Plattsburgh zone, and icing will be the call. Calvin mentioned uh, during the break, go back to 1975, the 29th of November, the same two teams, same two schools rather, not the same two teams, met in the first ever CVAC hockey game. It was here at the Plattsburgh State Fieldhouse. And the Hornets they come from behind. 5-4 victory in front of 1,000 fans. I don't think there are that many here this evening. Levitt plays it ahead for Beanie. Puck comes loose. Jason Wild tried to come out with it, but Kilburn came in. Puck bounces in front, and a great kick save by Despres. Now Puck bouncing around in the Hornet zone. Corey Mitchell tries to clear. Kilburn comes in, sends it back into the corner. Beanie after it. Here come the Hornets. Played up for a while. Now Latinville steals it. Fakes the shot. Takes it in front. And Luckin almost kicked it in. I'm sure that one would have been waved off. Here comes a two-on-one. Beanie and Levitt. Beanie moves in. Shot. Deflected nicely by Corey Mitchell. 10.40 remaining. Second period. 2-2 two -two the score. Here come the Hornets. Jason Wilde gets around one man. Controls it. Shot saved by Rodriguez. Now Lattenville stood up on the play. Casey Gadwa can't clear. Bounces right out in front. Lucky kick saved by Rodriguez. Now the Bombers will play it down ice, and they'll be called for icing. Ten minutes, 16 seconds remaining in the second. Lake Placid 2 and the Hornets 2. Faceoff coming up to the left of Rodriguez. Scheller takes the draw against Casey Colburn. Bombers get control. Ballarjean plays it over to the near side. Chad Colburn after it for Plattsburgh. Bombers can't clear. Casey Colburn steals, dumps it in front. Puck loose and Rodriguez with the mitt to make the stop. Hornet. Hornets have had some outstanding pressure on Rodriguez in the past few minutes. Is at full strength. Uh, Plattsburgh has sort of dominated the play. Like Placid's only real offensive threats have come on the power play. They've had two chances on the power play and scored both of their goals that way. Plattsburgh High School 0 for 1 on the power play. Someone just returning to the ice now, Eric Pomeroy. I don't know if Eric uh, had some skate problems or something that had to get taken care of, but Eric has just returned for the second period. Faceoff will come to the right of Rodriguez. Casey Colburn will take the draw against Wayne Scheller from Lake Placid. Puck drop, controlled by the Bombers. Matt Scheller plays it up, 
Sherman keeps it in. Backhands one. Myers with the glove. Centers it back to Colburn, but it's broken up by the Bombers. Sherman dives to keep it in. Puck comes outside the zone. Here comes Lake Placid. Fran Davey across the blue line. Knocked off the puck by Myers. Puck bounces in, and Sherman takes it away from the front of Despres. Now in the corner, Wayne Scheller looks to find Davey. Fran Davey at the faceoff circle. Centers one. Nice play by Myers to bat it down and keep it from going over to McClay. 9-15 remaining second period. Sherman keeps it in. Rodriguez out of the net. It'll be played by Matt Scheller. Hornets make changes. Giveaway. Primor couldn't control it. Now the Bombers look to move in. Adam Sherman is there to get it to Primor. It's kicked back out to center. And Lake Placid will dump it in. And they'll be called for icing. Eight minutes, 52 seconds remaining in the championship game. And we're still tied at two. Bombers can't clear. Pomeroy plays it in off the board. Sam Julian will get to it. Julian still controls behind the net. Primor looks to center. Nobody there. Now does. Puck bounces loose. And it's Rodriguez again with a mitt to cover it up. Battle of number 10s behind the net. Primor for the Hornets and Seth Kilburn for Lake Placid. I don't think we'll have any penalties out of that. And they'll drop the puck to Rodriguez's right. Calvin Castine with us on the camera for this championship game. Calvin's been with us for this entire tournament. We thank him for his fine work. Been a long day for Calvin. He got here a bit late after a, a bat at it in front. Sam Julian had a good chance, but Rodriguez stopped him. Calvin, long day in Ogdensburg. A visit with a bishop along with Bob Venn. Now the Bombers look to come in. They're offside. Pomeroy, though, gets it to center. Four on two. Pomeroy takes the shot. Rodriguez, the blocker save. Puck comes free into the corner. Eight minutes remaining in the second period. Bombers send it over to the near side, but they're in the middle of a line change. Dumped into the corner. Duquette chases after it. He puts it onto the stick of Pomeroy. Now played up for Wild. Jason Wild can't clear. Casey Gadwa gets to it, and we get a whistle. Hand pass is called. They're going to bring the face off outside the blue line with 7.45 remaining in the second. We're still tied at two. Sherman plays it over the far side. Luckin picks it up. Luckin comes in across the blue line. Gets it to Lattenville. Shot saved by Rodriguez. In the corner. Lat Luckin centers. And it's broken up there by Matt Scheller. Now here comes Gadwa to Mike Beanie. Beanie will dump it into the corner. And the Bombers will work for it behind the net. Beanie gets to it first. Looks to center. Has it poke checked away by Luckin. Hornets can't clear. Gadwa backhands one back into the corner. Beanie gets to it. He centers it. There's Scheller. Shot it wide. Puck loose in front. Now behind the net. Gadwa. Back to the point. Ballarjan. Shot. Blocked. Goes into the corner. Seven minutes remaining. Good pressure here from the Bombers. They look to find Levin in front, but it's broken up by the Hornets. Sherman has it goes off the skate of a Bomber. And it's dumped back in by Mike Beanie. Jan Sherman plays it into the corner. Luckin couldn't control it. Beanie gets it back for Levitt. Goes back to Beanie, but now in the near side, it'll be on Sherman. Plays it up for Jason Wilde. Now to Lattenville, two on one. Lattenville moves in, dishes to Luckin. He can't get off the shot. Nice play by Ballarjean. Wilde back in her, saved by Rodriguez. At the point, Sherman keeps it in. Lattenville lost control. Now Matt Scheller, he looks to clear. At the point, oh, Lake Placid, two on one. Beanie moves in. Shot score! The Hornets with some problems in front of their own bench. It allowed Beanie to pick up the puck. Move in two on one and beat Despers on the right side. And at 8.50, the Lake Placid Blue Bombers go on top 3-2. Hornets will again have to come from behind.
Camden flank looks to clear for Lake Placid. They get it out to center. Here comes Scheller. He dumps it into the Hornet zone. Davey goes after it with Duquette. Davey will get to it first. Puck comes back to Kilburn. Desperus left it for Pomeroy. Plays it up for Myers. Now Casey Colburn. For Chad Colburn. Broken up by Kilburn. Seth Kilburn knocked off the puck by Myers. Still got it to Scheller. Scheller drops it back, but Casey's there for the Hornets. Three on two. Colburn with Myers and Colburn. Colburn across the blue line. Takes the shot. Saved by Rodriguez. 5.15 to go in the second. Here comes Fran Davey. Poke checked away by Duquette. Played to center. Blasted in. And Lake Placid's offside. Five minutes, eight seconds remaining in the second period. It's Lake Placid three, Plattsburgh two. Here come the Bombers. Lucas Plank tried to find Jeff Strack in front. Plattsburgh looks to break out. Bombers send it back in. They clear the zone. Corey Mitchell plays it for Sam Julian. He's knocked off the puck. Puck bounces free. Mitchell takes it away from Jake Nason. Bombers play it in front. Desperus is going to have to cover up. Four minutes, 42 seconds remaining in the second period. Lake Placid with a lone goal. Mike Beeney got it at 8.50 to give his team the 3-2 advantage. Faceoff will come up to the left of Brian Desperus. Off the draw, Bombers get it in front, but it's sent wide by Nason. Now in behind the net, Jan Sherman plays over the near side. Julian's knocked down. Mitchell fights for it along with Nason. Hornets come out with it. This is Julian at center. Moves across the blue line. Sam Julian takes it in. Now in the corner. Falls down on the play. And it's taken away by Ballerjean. He can't clear. Premore fights for it. Kevin Premore will dump it into the corner. Lucas Plank for Lake Placid. Plays it for Jeff Strack. Hornets were in the middle of a line change. and Fortunately, Sherman was able to intercept the pass and dump it back in. Now Luckin gets to it first in the corner. Skated over the puck, though. This line for Lake Placid has been out there for a while. They may be tired. The Hornets get it at center. Jason Wild moves across the blue line. Wild takes it into the corner. And the Bombers play it out to center. Eric Pomeroy plays it off the boards. They get Strack to the bench. Now they'll get Nason to the bench, and Lake Placid's got a new line on there. And it's the top line of Levitt, Kilburn, and Beanie. Hornets rip one off the boards. They can't clear. Kilburn keeps it in. Centers it. They score! Eleven forty-eight. the time of the goal. And Lake Placid takes advantage of Plattsburgh, unable to clear the puck. Goes on top, 4-2. to two. We'll wait and get the official announcement on the goal. The Hornets, again, will be asked to come from behind by two. Levitt from Kilburn at 11.48 gives the Bombers a two-goal lead. Here come the Hornets. Wild brings it into the corner. Latinville comes in to help out. Latinville still controls. Now puck loose in front. Wild ran into Latinville and they didn't get off a shot. Hornets take a couple of swipes at it. Wild stole it. Still controls it. Duquette sends it in. There's Luckin in front. Shot saved by Rodriguez. Tony Rodriguez is the reason Lake Placid is winning this hockey game as Plattsburgh has peppered him. And he's been outstanding. 2.22 in the second period. Bombers up by two. Played to center. Dumped back in by Lake Placid. Eric Pomeroy after it for the Hornets. Now to Luckin. Luckin lost it. We'll have to pick it up in his own zone. Two minutes to go in the second. Plattsburgh would like the goal to go into the third period. 
Here comes Lattenville. He has it checked away by Kilburn. The Bombers come back. Levitt comes in, but he's offside. One minute and 50 seconds remaining in the second period. It's the Blue Bombers four and the Hornets two. Adam Sherman plays over the near side, and Jan Sherman has it. He finds Matt Myers, and offside on the near side is Chad Colbert. Bombers look to clear. Davey plays it out to center. Matt Myers plays it off the boards. Puck bounces over to the near side. Here comes Casey Colburn. Brings it across the blue line. No offside this time to Chad Colburn. Puck comes out in front. There's Casey. Shot. Score! Tony Rodriguez had no idea where the puck is. But Casey Colburn did. And he puts it past Rodriguez and the Hornets are within one. Well, folks, the Colburn brothers connect again. Casey from Chad at 13.45, and it's a 4-3 hockey game. Hornets get it into the bomber zone. Lake Placid looks to clear. Wild has it. He throws it into the corner. Latinville goes after it. One minute remaining in the period. Wild behind the net. Luckin open in front. They can't get it to him. Now Luckin plays it into the corner. Wild goes after it. He's checked off the puck by Seth Kilburn. Bombers still can't clear. Pomeroy plays it in. Wild behind the net. Puck comes out to Luckin. Takes the shot, but it's checked away at the last moment by Beanie. 35 seconds in the period. Puck comes to the blue line. Pomeroy waits. Now Eric Pomeroy brings it in. Centers it for Latinville. Jamie Latinville at the faceoff circle. Looks to take it to the net. Now they look in front. Julian was there. Shot just wide from Luckett. 20 seconds in the period. Bombers play it out to center. Pomeroy, look out, gives it up to Beanie. Beanie centers it, and Duquette with a nice sprawling effort to keep it from in front of the net. Five seconds to go. Three on two for Plattsburgh. Julian moves in. Julian drops it back, and they're not going to get off a shot. Hornets with an opportunity there, but some confusion on the part of Julian and Latinville as to who was going to take the shot, so they don't get a shot at the buzzer. But nonetheless, another outstanding period of hockey. 2-2 two -two after one, Mike Beanie got his first of the game for Lake Placid at 8.50 to give the Bombers a 3-2 lead, and J.D. Levitt got his second at 11.48 with Seth Kilburn picking up the assist. Hornets close it to within one with 1.15 remaining. As Casey Colburn scores from Chad Colburn. The shots on goal in that period. Plattsburgh with 10. They've got 21 in the game. Lake Placid with four. So well, Bombers being outshot 21 to 10 in this contest. But the important stat is on the scoreboard. And that says Lake Placid four. And Plattsburgh High School, three. Fifteen minutes to play. It should be an outstanding third period of hockey. We hope you'll stay with us. Set for the action to commence in the third period. On the Key Bank original four, the Bombers come in two on one. Levitt shot, hits the post! Now in behind the net, Mike Beanie gets it back to Levitt. Broken up. Bombers with a one-goal lead. They'd like some insurance. In front, Despris covers up. 14 minutes, 37 seconds remaining in this third period. Lake Placid, despite being outshot 21-10, to 10, has a 4-3 lead. Face-off will be to the right of Brian Despris. In behind the net, Casey Gadwa spins around, shot, and somehow Despers manages to poke it into the corner. 
Now behind the net, this is Mike Beeney bringing it out to the faceoff circle. Beeney centers, Gadwa there, Lake Placid all over Plattsburgh in the early going. Puck comes loose in front. This is the Plattsburgh second line against the Lake Placid first line. So maybe Don Pomeroy is going to try to match lines in this period and get his first line up against one of the Lake Placid second or third lines. Levitt in the corner. Back to Beanie. Tried to find Gadwa behind the net. Buck comes loose. Played back to the point. Ethan Plank to Levitt. Jumped over his stick. Chad Colburn blocks one. Seth Kilburn tries to keep it in, but Colburn manages to poke it out to center. Bombers dump it in. Hornets in the middle of a line change as now the Bombers will make changes. Hornets dump it in. Played back out by Ballerjean. Icing is waved off. Adam Sherman can't clear. McLean. Gets it back to the point. Ballarja for Davey. Davey moves in. Shot blocked. Rebound and Despres with an outstanding stick save. Now Luckett across the blue line. Moves in. Weak shot. Deflects into the corner. Wild is ridden off the puck. Now Luckett steals it. Moves to the net. Shot and it trickles wide. Jason Wild tried to find someone in front. The Bombers get it out to center. Shaler gets it to McLean. His shot. Glove saved by Despers. And Ryan will cover up. We get the whistle. 12 minutes and 27 seconds remaining in the third period. The Blue Bombers four and the Hornets three. Face off to the left of Despers. Bombers gain control. They tried to find Gadwa in front. Here comes Aaron Dubuque. Tries to stop. Still controls. Centers it. But Kilburn is there to clear for Lake Placid. Now behind the net, Sam Julian can't gain control. Kilburn ridden into the board. Still gets it up to Beanie. Beanie near side for Levitt. J.D. will dump it in behind the net. Despres leaves it for Duquette. Played off the boards. Kept in nicely by Kilburn. Beanie. Near side for Levitt, intercepted by Jan Sherman. Plays it for Julian. He's knocked to the ice by Kilburn. Kilburn falls down. Primor gets it. Dubuque open in front. Oh, he fans on the centering pass. Now Primor behind the net, centers it, poked away. 11.30 remaining, and that one ends up in the Lake Placid bench. Luckin gets it off the face off of the Hornets. Fans on a shot. Fights to get it back. But it's going to come out to McLean. He tries to find Shaler. Now Corey Mitchell for the Hornets. Plays it over to the far boards. Back out to center for Matt Shaler. Icing is waved off. Corey Mitchell chasing after it. 11.05 remaining in the third period. 4-3 Lake Placid. Lattenville moves in, in front, Wild pokes at it, puck still loose, Bombers clear it from in front. Now here comes Lake Placid, two on one, Ballarjean, shot, high and wide. Hornets play at the center, Jamie Lattenville moves around one man, two defenders to beat, still controls, backhander and Rodriguez with a stick save. Luckin behind the net. Controls, falls down, penalty coming up on Lake Placid. Ballarjean gets the penalty for Lake Placid. And the Hornets have their second power play opportunity of the hockey game. They're 0 for 1. Lake Placid has had two. They're 2 for 2. Hornets get the draw. Chad Colbert back to Duquette. Duquette could not keep it in and the Bombers will play it down ice. Look out, Despers had problems with that one. He has not turned in one of his better performances in this hockey game. Made some good saves, but has also struggled a bit. Yeah. 
Now Casey Colburn over for Maddie Myers. Back to Colburn. Casey with it. To Myers. Tried to go back to Colburn. Puck deflects into the near corner. 50 seconds in the Hornet power play. Chad Colburn fights for it. Still controls. Now he falls down. They put it right under the stick of Casey Colburn. Shots! Oh, Myers had the open net and could not get it in. Golden scoring opportunity for Plattsburgh, and they don't get it. Two on one. Beanie shot saved by Desperus. 20 seconds of the Plattsburgh power play. Jan Sherman. Far side. Matt Myers. Lucking on the near side. Myers moves in. Can't control. They'll have to bring it outside the zone. Luckin clears. Five seconds on the power play. Ethan Plank plays it off the boards. Hornets can't keep it in. They're offside. I think John Coyer may be a little cold in this hockey game. John has come back to join us. His friend Bill Bashard has left. John says that Bill asked him if he wanted to play goalie in the next game. John's only problem is he can't skate. Behind the net, Bomber Center. Hornets are able to clear. 8.40 remaining in the third. Hornets had to bring it back outside the zone. They would have been called for the offside. Here comes Latinville. Gets it to Luckin. Luckin takes it to the net. Shot saved by Rodriguez. Rodriguez outstanding in goal. Bombers hold on and win this. Maybe a thought for MVP. But then again, you've got the likes of Levitt and Beanie. They've got eight minutes and five seconds to try to hold on to this one goal lead. Hornets are buzzing. Luckett still controls it. Bothered by two bombers. Luckett moves around a third. Gets it to Jason Wild. Now to Latinville in front. He loses control and here comes Lake Placid. Fran Davey moves in. McLean on his left. McLean gets the puck. Shot. Desperous with a kick save. Lake Placid sends it in. They've got to clear or else they'll be called offside. Hornets get it out to center. Latinville dumps it in. Hornets make changes. Myers tried to get to it first, but the Bombers play it to center. Casey Colburn is hooked. We're going to have another Blake Placid penalty. The call is going to go against Fran Davey. Phil Beanie does not like the call, but... It will give Plattsburgh their third power play opportunity. 0 for 2 so far. And this is probably the biggest opportunity of the third period for Plattsburgh to try and tie the game. They trail by one with the minutes ticking down in this third period. 7.15 to go. This has been a great hockey game. Matt Myers. Takes it in across the blue line. Puck comes free, but the Bombers are there to ice it. Bounces out on Desperus. He'll leave it for Josh Duquette. Duquette will let Colburn bring it up. He plays it off the boards for Chad. It's too far. The Bombers play it back. Casey sends one into the corner. Myers takes it from behind the net. Moves it for a Score! Myers scores! He stole it from behind the net, moved out in front, and Matt Myers has tied the hockey game. Matt Myers, the unassisted goal, puts Plattsburgh on an even skill with Lake Placid. It's 4-4. Shot goes wide off the stick of J.D. Levitt. Julian gets it up for Latinville. Buck kept in at the blue line by Luckin. Takes it to the net. Still controls, but it's poke checked away by Ballarjean. 
to the point. Sherman shot, deflected front. Julian scores! Sam Julian has put the Hornets in front. Jan Sherman picks up the assist. The Hornets lead it 5-4. to four. Luckin behind the net. Looks to bring it out in front. It's taken away by the Bombers. Here comes Mike Beanie. Three on two. They dump it in, and Adam Sherman is there to clear. Julian sticks one out to center. 5.40 remaining, third period. Lake Placid dumps it in. Adam Sherman behind his own net. Gets it for Julian, broken up by the Bombers. Kilburn shot was blocked. Puck comes out to center. Lake Placid sends it in. Luckin intercepts it, tries to move to center. Hornets in the middle of a line. Change here come the Bombers. Mike Beanie. He and Sherman collide. Sherman goes down. Beanie takes it into the corner. Here comes Plattsburgh. Three on two for the Hornets. Jan Sherman. Far side. And Chad Colburn couldn't control the pass. Colburn centers it. Myers set it just wide. Myers in front. And that one goes through the crease. Plattsburgh has appeared to wear Lake Placid down in this third period. A lot of standing around from the Lake Placid players, and we get a whistle. Four minutes, 46 seconds remaining in the third. Plattsburgh, five. Lake Placid, four. All right, we've got four minutes, 46 seconds. Lake Placid has used their timeout. Face off to the right of Rodriguez. Mike Beanie plays it to center, but the Hornets dump it back in. Near side for Levitt. He can't control the pass. Corey Mitchell has it. Mitchell couldn't clear it. Now Matt Luckin will bring it back in his own zone. Plays it for Latinville. Jumped over his stick. Nonetheless, gets out to center. Lake Placid dumps it back in. Mitchell tries to clear. This led to a Lake Placid goal earlier in the game. Now Hornets Wild sends it down ice, but... Plattsburgh will be called for the icing. Face off coming up to the left of Brian Despris. Casey Gadwa takes the draw against Jamie Lattenville. Hornets gain control. They'll bring it around behind the own net. Buck comes out to center. Bombers dump it back in. They'll clear. Three minutes, 55 seconds remaining. Third period. Plattsburgh by one. Bombers look to keep it in. They can't. An offside is called. Luckin takes it off the faceoff, brings it into the Lake Placid zone. Takes the shot. It's deflected by Kilburn. Luckin looks to center. He's knocked off the puck. Bombers play it into the Plattsburgh zone. Three and a half remaining third period. Duquette plays it out to center. Seth Kilbert. Near side for Ethan Plank. Up ice. Joe McClain gets it in. Wayne Scheller. Takes it in behind the net. Ridden off the puck. Davey looks to pick it up. Mitchell's there to break things up. Jason Wild. They get it out to center. 3.05 remaining third period. Hornets 5-4. Hornets play it down ice. Went off the skate of Ethan Plank. Seth Kilburn to the near side. Joe McLean couldn't control it. Adam Sherman plays it back into the Lake Placid zone. Hornets have gone into their defensive mode here. Just not wanting to make any mistakes. They've got the one goal lead. Casey Colbert for Chad Colbert. We get a whistle. Looks as though we're going to have penalties here. Casey Colburn will go to the box for Plattsburgh, as well as Wayne Scheller from Lake Placid, both slashing penalties. Two minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the third period.
Martinville and Gadwa on the draw. Bombers get control. They can't bring it out. Chad Colbert. Now the Bombers with it. Beanie plays it for Gadwa. Adam Sherman dumps it back out to center. Here comes Matt Luckin across the blue line. Gets it for Chad Colbert. 2-10 remaining in the third period. Colbert kicks it ahead. Beanie for Lake Placid. Three on two. Across the blue line. Tries to get around Sherman. Slides down. We're going to have a penalty call. Sherman gets a penalty for tripping on that call. And we talked to the judges and Beanie gets a 10.0 for that dive. Bombers on the power play. Less than two minutes to go. Here they come. Three on two. Beanie shot. Rebound. Oh! Desperous. Managed to keep it out. Kilburn shot. Hits the side of the net. Kilburn again. Sends one in front. Primor will send it down ice. One minute, 30 seconds in the Lake Placid hockey game. They need one more to tie and send it to overtime. They've got 55 seconds on the power play. Ethan Plank sends it up for Casey Gadwa. It was behind him. It'll come in on Desperus. Now Corey Mitchell plays it off the boards, and it'll go down ice and kill some more time. 105 remaining in the third. 35 in the power play. Beanie plays it off a of Dukep. Comes back to Kilburn. Under a minute. Bombers move in. Puck comes outside the zone. 25 in the power play. Beanie moves it in. Nice play by Luckin to take it away. And Luckin will dump it in. 45 seconds in the third. 15 in the power play. Bombers need to move quickly. Gadwa brings it up ice. No move yet to get the goaltender out. Taken away by Primo and he sends it down ice. Hornets now back at full strength, 28 seconds in the third. Played off the boards. It'll be sent in. Hornets call for the icing. Adam Sherman sends it in. 22 seconds left, and this will give Lake Placid the chance to get Tony Rodriguez to the bench. And there you see Rodriguez headed to the Lake Placid bench for the extra attacker. Bombers send out Gadwa, Levitt. Beanie, Plank, Kilburn, and Scheller, and Plattsburgh has decided to call timeout and get their defensive strategy set. 22 seconds left in the third period. We are at the championship game of the Key Bank Original Four, and Plattsburgh High School desperately trying to hold on to a 5 4 lead. 22 seconds remaining in the game. Unless Lake Placid can score, then we'd go to overtime. Bombers get the draw. Desperate has to make the save. 19.7 seconds. This Lake Placid has been outstanding winning faceoffs in the Plattsburgh zone. They got a goal off that earlier in the contest when Scheller got it over to Fran Davy in front. Gadwa takes the draw. Hornets will send out Casey Colburn to take the face off. They get it back in front. Hornets there. They've got an open net to shoot it at. Stolen away. Scheller sends one wide. Ten seconds to go. Gadwa sends it in front. Sherman breaks it up. Hornets get it out the center. Five seconds to go. Bombers play it in, and it's offside. 3.4 seconds remaining in the hockey game. The Bombers would need a miracle. Unfortunately, the game is not being played in Lake Placid. And it is not 1980. Latinville takes the draw against Gadwa. They drop the puck. 
Two seconds to go, and the Hornets have won it! Plattsburgh High School wins the 1993 KeyBank Original Four Hockey Tournament with a 5-4 victory over the Lake Placid Blue Bombers. You see the Hornets huddle around goaltender Brian Despers. Stay with us. We'll have the hardware presentation momentarily as we give you the quick scoring recap of this outstanding hockey game. By far the best game played in the tournament. Lake Placid jumped on top early. We get the shots. Lake Placid, as we told you, jumped out on top early. Two power play goals. J.D. Levitt scores from Casey Gadwa at 6.58. And Fran Davey from Wayne Scheller at 9.26. It was 2-0 Lake Placid. It was their first of two two-goal advantages. But the Hornets battled back to tie it. Chad Colburn at 9.41 from Casey Colburn. And Matt Myers gets the tire at 13.15 from Casey and Chad Colburn. So at the end of one... 2-2 the score. Plattsburgh outshot Lake Placid 11-6 in that first period. Second period again, Lake Placid jumps out quick. Beanie scores unassisted at 8.50. Then at 11.48, J.D. Levitt scores again his second of the game with Seth Kilburn picking up the assist. Plattsburgh High School, late in the period, a minute 15 remaining, gets a goal from Casey Colburn. Chad Colburn picks up the assist. So at the end of two periods, it was Lake Placid 4 and Plattsburgh High School 3. The shots on goal in that second period, 10-4. to four. Third period belonged to the Hornets. It looked as though they wore down Lake Placid. They get a power play goal at 8-18. Matt Myers unassisted to tie it. Both of Matt Myers' goals in this hockey game were game-tying goals. And then the game winner, the tournament winner, comes at 8-54. Sam Julian. Gets his biggest goal as a Hornet, his third career goal as a Hornet, with an assist from Jan Sherman. The shots on goal in that period, 9-7 in favor of Plattsburgh. They outshot Lake Placid, 30-17. to Lake Placid will get the second place trophy from Key Bank representative Dale Brown. Coming over to get the trophy, Casey Gadwa and Mike Beanie. First place trophy will go to the Plattsburgh High School Hornets. They bring their season record to 2-0. Jamie Lattenville, captain of the Hornets, will get the first place trophy. One more trophy left to be handed out. And Jamie Lattenville gets the tournament MVP award. Some outstanding individual performance from the Hornets throughout this tournament. Matt Luckin with a great tournament. Matt Myers with a great tournament. Both the Colburn brothers with outstanding efforts. Sam Julian with three goals in the tournament. Some uh, real balanced scoring from the Hornets. Some outstanding defensive efforts as well. Zimmerman with a shutout in the first game. And Desperus, although he struggled at points, made some outstanding saves late in the game that uh, kept Plattsburgh High School within one goal and allowed his team to come from behind and pick up the victory. The final score, once again, in the championship game of the Key Bank Original Four Hockey Tournament. Plattsburgh High School 5 and Lake Placid 4. We want to thank our cameraman, Calvin Castine, for his fine work throughout the tournament. And we thank you at home for joining us, and we hope you enjoyed this broadcast. And we know you certainly enjoyed the outcome. And that outcome, once again, Plattsburgh High School 5, and Lake Placid 4. Until the next time we join you, have a good night, everybody. Hello, everyone. This is Calvin Castine. We're at Seton Catholic Central School. It's a Wednesday evening, December 22nd, 1993. And we're here for CBAC Varsity Action. Featuring the Seton Catholic Lady Knights and the Beekman Town Eagles. And before we get into the game, we want to acknowledge our latest viewer patrons, Randy and Deborah Russell from the West Jay-Z area. Some of the very few people from the West Jay-Z who are supporting hometown cable. And we want to 
thank the Russell family for joining our growing list of viewer patrons and remind our other Beekman Town School District viewers that we need your support. We need to know that, that you're interested in this if we're going to keep covering Beekman Town like we'd like to do. Let's see, number 51 is Danielle Brayette, number 23 is Melanie Hazen, number 31 is Amanda Lutt. Number 43, Michelle St. Mauer. Number 50, Katie Vanderhoff. Number 24, Jill Ward. Number 45 is Missy Wynn. Number 25 is Angie Barber. Number 30 is Barbara Brooks. Number 35 is Elaine Dixon. Annie Russell is number 32. And Heidi Sanger is number 33. The culture course, the legendary KG veteran art the Grand Prix. Now for Seton Catholic, Chrissy Zedek, number 20. Number 10, Tara Cartier. Candace Copeland, number 23. Number 21 is Laura Nickel. Angela Pickering, number 31. Megan Sullivan, number 30. And Marissa Parisi. Now Casey Levine, this is one of the starters. Sarah Munn. Megan Fortrell. Katie McFadden. And Katie Caston. Coach is the rookie, Sam Campbell. Performed by Ms. Ann Sullivan on flute. Sounds like Ann Sullivan will be performing for us. job indeed the Star Spangled Banner there's Barbara Brooks and Katie Castine jumping Castine controls the tip gets it to McFadden out front to Levine Levine over to Munn back looking for McFadden Levine picks it up drives the baseline puts the left-handed shot up And the rebound is taken down by Angie Barber. Monique Russell brings it back for the Eagles. Sanger with a long shot. And up comes Levine. McFadden, I think that Fortrell with a miss. Levine, good hustle, takes it back. And Sanger will take it. Brooks' pass is picked off by the, uh, the Knights. 6.58 to go in the first period. We're scoreless. Levine with the ball. Over to Castine. Castine coming off a couple of 20-point games. He had 21 and 20 in our last two outings. She'll step to the line and shoot two. Second one's good. 
It's 1-0 for Seton. Russell gives it to Brooks. And Russell will bring it up. If you'd like to be like the Russell family and be a viewer patron and help support this programming, you can do it in person like they did, or you can uh, send it to us. Uh, we prefer if you send it to us and not uh, wait till you see us. But if you keep forgetting and you, you see us and you want to make your contribution at that time, that's fine too. I'd say it's about 50-50 as to how our viewer patrons come in. Red's turn on the jump ball. Barber back to help out. Is it to Russell to Sanger? Seaton at the press. No 10 second violation in girls basketball. Red ball on the foul. Russell goes to Sanger. Dixon sets a high post. Down for Trell. Looks like a balanced league this year in the Division I race in the CVAC. Sanak leading at the moment. McFadden called for steps. Sanak is leading, and everybody else is, uh, is close behind. Of course, once the Division one teams play Division two. They have a chance to close the gap a little bit. Dixon with a, with a shot to make it two to one for Beekman Town. Five minutes, 18 seconds to go in the first quarter. McFadden over to Levine underneath to Fortrell. Nice play and it's 3-2 Seton. loose by Munchkin, but the Eagles control. Barber over to Dixon. Shot by, by Barber. I think I said Barber when I meant Russell earlier. 4.33 to go. 3-2 to score. We're in the first quarter. Red ball, Sanger gives to Russell, back to Sanger. Dixon comes back to help out, and somehow it bounces up into the forecourt for the Eagles. White ball, McFadden inbounds to Levine, and McFadden will bring it down. Jamie McFadden drives and rolls off the rim. Angie Barber rebounds and hands it off to Monique Russell. Russell down the sideline for Sanger. Sanger to Dixon, knocked out by Portrell. Referee Bruce Shiflett hands it to Monique Russell. Russell with a bounce pass, looking for Sanger. Ball comes to Dixon, puts up an air ball. And a good heads up play by Russell, knocks it off Portrell. Number 23, Candace Copeland in for Seton and Chris Zedek, number 20 in for the Knights. Ball comes to Sanger, puts it to the hoop floor. Brooks, has it knocked away. It's kicked out of bounds by Munn. Danielle Brett relieves Barbara Brooks for Beekman Town. Took her eye off the ball. Still 3 2. We're approaching the three minute mark. Castein picks up the loose ball. Castein sticks with it, takes it to the hole, and she's fouled. Fouls on Brayette, and Art de Grand Prix wants to call a timeout with 3.06 to go in the first. The team's trailing 3 2. Next on at the line. And 
Seaton gets a third point from the foul line, and it's a 5-2 Seaton lead. Russell looking for help. Gives it to Sanger. Sanger puts it to the floor. 